Come say hi to the camera. Look at the camera. Can you say hi? No. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while since I've vlogged. Well, actually, okay, so it's been a while since I've vlogged, but it hasn't been a while since I've posted one because basically I vlogged my 30th birthday back in January and then we went to Disneyland and then I also vlogged, I think it was like Super Bowl weekend, but I have to be honest with you. I'm so bad about editing vlogs like they take I have such a formula for when I like edit my sit down videos and I can get those done really really quickly but with a vlog like there's so much more footage and I just it just takes me a while to get through it so let me know down below if you guys like vlogs because if you do I'll definitely do more of them but if you don't it really takes a long time and I'd almost rather spend the time getting like videos that you want to see out you know so anyway um this morning it's Tuesday morning it is currently 9 45 um I went to 8 30 CrossFit and obviously took James to school this morning everything like that so I'm adjusting my watch. It's all like nasty and sweaty. So today um, is my sister's baccalaureate. She's graduating from high school, which is why I'm doing this vlog because I want to have these memories. I want her to have these memories. Um, it's so nice to be able to look back um, on these videos and you know just remember certain things. So um, her baccalaureate is today. I think it's at three o'clock today. So I just took the day off of work. I am going to run a few errands. We're going to go, I think to Trader Joe's. I've got to go return some shoes at Nordstrom Rack. Actually, I had bought my sister. I can show you. Let me see. Cause I could probably link these for you. These are good. I bought my sister, these Sam Edelman heels that she, she had a couple pair and she decided not to keep these. So this is what these look like. She, they need all white heels. And so I got these ones for her. They're really cute, really nice block, block heel. They are pretty high, but with the block heel, it's like not bad. So anyway, she was going to wear these, but she decided on another pair. So I got to take those back. Wait, how did, how was this in here? Anyway, got to take those back today. I love the smell of the leather. It smells like such nice new shoes. Um, okay, so we're gonna go take those back to Nordstrom Rack. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have to pick up a few things. We had some, we, we ran out of bananas, um, like little things like that. I have a Target pickup to do. Of course, I wanna go get some coffee. And that's it. So I don't know. I mean, this video, I'll probably have it go from today, Tuesday through Saturday, which is the day of her actual graduation. So it'll be like, a week in my life almost basically a few days in my life um, so anyway that's what's going on I hope you enjoy let me know again down below if you like vlogs because like I said I, I don't want to waste your time if you don't like them so let me know but anyway let's get to I think we'll go I was gonna look at my watch I think we'll go to um, Nordstrom Rack first It's a little while later, it's 2.10. I think the last time I was on was like, maybe like 10, 10.30. So here's the girl of the hour. It's kind of dark. Hello. It's not focusing on you, there you go. There you go. I did my own makeup and my own hair, so hopefully it stays. Are you excited? <laughs> um, yeah, but also kind of sad, but we look cute, so it'll be fun. <laughs> I like the dress. Thanks. Where'd you get that one? That one's from Francesca's? Well, the blood more. Mm. And mom's driving my car and hates it. No, I don't hate it. <laughs> it's just noisier than my... It's smaller. I just wanted to make sure everything was good. We're stuck in a ton of traffic. So that's cool. Any last words before baccalaureate? I'm excited. Mm. Oh, I'm reading. Oh yeah, what are you doing? A, a petition. 
This short. Do you know it? Um, no. Oh. I'm just gonna read it. Oh, okay. We pray for peace in our world, that all people may live free from violence, feel safe in their homes, schools, and businesses, and have hope for the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is currently 9.40 on a Wednesday morning. I just finished at CrossFit and it was hard. It was snatches. My rotator cuff after snatches is always like so fatigued. So anyway, did that, but I was really proud of myself because a portion of the workout was toes to bar and I've never been great at toes to bar. Um, I've always really struggled with that and I was able to do it. My arms are shaking. So sorry if the camera's shaking, I was able to do it for most of the workout. So the form was not great, <laughs> but we're making progress and that's all that matters. So that was good. Um, so anyway, so this week I'm going to hold switch arms cause my arm is literally killing me. I need to like find a good spot in my car to place my camera. Maybe it'll sit here. Um, but I no, it's not going to sit there. I don't have like a flat like ridge in my car anywhere. So I have to hold it. So anyway, I, um, this week is a little bit different as far as like my work schedule just because of my sister's graduation. So I'm home a lot more this week. So today I'm working from home. I'm going to go run a couple errands, then go home and get some work done. And on Wednesdays, if you didn't know, is when I'm film my videos. So I try and film two to three videos on Wednesdays and then um, like publish them throughout the next the following week so um, but because sorry I keep switching the camera but my arm is so tired because of my sister's graduation I had initially wanted to get a video sorry, up I Oops. couldn't hear what you said Hold sorry on. could you say that again the struggle is real this morning anyway yesterday I was going to get a video up um, my trunk club video um, but because of my sister's graduation that just delayed it, so um, I still have to get that video up today. And I woke up with this horrible, well actually I started noticing it last night, this horrible pimple, put a pimple patch on it last night, but it still needs some help. So that's what's going on today. So let's get going. I have to drop off the cleaning and then I think we're gonna go home. So let's go. home and today there was um, a sale at Bath and Body. I went to the cleaners and went and grabbed Starbucks and then right by the cleaners and Starbucks is a Bath and Body and um, they always have signs out so I always get caught. Okay so I'm usually good like I use actually you can see it right there I use um, essential oils most of the time. I have candles and stuff which I like for ambiance also sorry if it's echoey. Um, anyway I really like essential oils um we we mainly use essential oils i have candles we burn candles like i said for ambiance and stuff but i have essential a uh, diffuser essential oil diffuser um at my office my husband has one in his office at work we have one downstairs i have one in our bedroom and actually i'll probably include it in this vlog um i just got another one from young living which i'm so excited about um, it's the Aria diffuser, which if you're a fan of Young Living, it's like the beautiful diffuser. I really like this one that we have. I think that one's called the Haven. I can't remember. It's right here. Um, I really like that one, but I think I'm going to put that one up in our loft space, which is where my desk is when I work from home. And then, um, the Aria one that I just got, it literally just arrived in the mail. I'll unpack that later in this vlog. And then I'm going to set that somewhere in the kitchen. I actually bought like a cake stand from Target from Magnolia home um to put the diffuser on because i thought that would look really pretty so but like honestly you guys when you have a toddler our house is just not super aesthetic it's functional it's not the prettiest it's just you know so 
I had all these ideas in mind when we got this house and it's just like, you know, whatever. It's fine. I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but oh yeah, because I don't usually buy a ton of candles. I like to give candles as gifts and like I said, I like them every once in a while, but I do know essential oils are better for you. Um, so I try and use those. We still use like plugins around our house. We obviously use the soaps. I don't use um, the car scents, although I'm always super tempted, but I don't know. It's one of those things where like once it gets in your head about how these scents and chemicals affect your body, especially like for me personally, one of the big things is fertility. We want more kids. And so like when I hear that it could affect your fertility, it just scares me. And like the Keurig, don't even get me started. Like I've heard so many things about the Keurig affecting your fertility. I'm like, ah, like it's, it's overwhelming. So anyway, I just try and be conscious of that. And I try not to like bring too many things that are like chemicals. I don't know. Not important. Let's talk about the soaps. I grabbed orange and ginger. I really like this one. I wash my hands in the store and I use that one and I love ginger. So I'm not surprised I like that one. Sweet orange blossom, just a good um, spring summer scent. Then I grabbed two of the orange driftwood. Honestly, this packaging was just super pretty. And I also, um, uh, I personally prefer the foamy ones over these ones, the gel ones, but whatever. Oh, this one's also over here. I grabbed sea salt and lime. I've heard good things about the scent, but I've never tried this one. And then fresh cotton or fresh coconut. Oh my God. I cannot say this fresh coconut and cotton. Um, again, love this packaging. So pretty. So I just really love having these at our sinks. I think they're really pretty. And then last one is bronzed sunset. So just quick little bath and body haul wanted to share those with you and like I said I know that people have different opinions on candles and essential oils and blah 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 and I don't want to get into that or cause any issues but I am aware so don't come at me I'm aware but you know you do you so anyway that's all so it is a little while later um Last time we checked in, I think, I don't even know. But since then, also let me close the closet. Um, since then, I have worked a little bit, had lunch, and now I'm getting ready to film. I have you propped up on like my, um, what do you call this? Thing? The thing I keep my skincare and makeup on. So um, I'm gonna be getting ready. I think I'll probably just, I don't know, maybe do a little montage. Um, I wanted to share this though. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint and it has SPF 40 and I got this um, in the Sephora sale. I am in shade ST8 and I love this. I've been using it now for a little while. I just take like one dropper full and it matches my skin perfectly and you, I think you're supposed to, sorry the camera angle is not great, but I think you're supposed to put it on like a um, serum. And so I just put it on like, like this, clearly. I'm not the most like, some people put on their makeup and they look so beautiful putting it on and I just like slather it all on. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to film and I'm really liking this stuff and I, so obviously, if you've been following me, you know one of my goals has been to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And actually, as of today, I'm at 999. <laughs> so I just need one more person, um, and then we hit the goal. Uh, so that's really exciting. So anyway, after that goal, because I kind of like set a goal and then move on to the next goal. So after that goal, my next goal is going to be to be more consistent about sending a weekly newsletter. So if you're interested in my newsletter, comment down below and um, we can get you all signed up. But my plan is to send a weekly newsletter that will kind of like recap the outfits I wore the week before. Um, it'll also include the top sellers from my page, like YouTube, Instagram, things like that. And then I'll have like um, what I'm loving and so this is going to be included in the first what I'm loving email which will probably be like a few weeks prior because you know I have to work on all the back end stuff and like make sure it's all properly set up so it's going to take me um, like a week or so to get that all going but anyway um, 
sorry i'm trying to like do my makeup and talk to you guys and the angle is just not great so um yeah, so I'm going to be working on that. That's my next new goal is to get better about doing weekly emails. So if you want to be added to my email list to see what I'm loving, I'm thinking about potentially also adding like a Lululemon specific portion of that, like my top picks from Lululemon for the week or whatever, just because so many of you also love Lululemon like I do. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking about doing something like that or like an active wear specific Kind of like column or section so let me know below what you think about that that'd be helpful and um yeah i'll probably create like a link to to sign up for my email list just have in the description below regardless so that if you see this at a future point and want to do it then you can so yeah so that's what's going on i'm gonna film in a few minutes i gotta get all ready um and I feel like there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. So that's it for now. And I don't know if you care to see my whole makeup routine. I do have a makeup routine video on my channel, so I can have that linked for you below and in the cards. So if you want to see my current makeup routine, that will be on there. But yeah. Oh, I know what else I was going to say. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I pulled my Instagram followers today. Also, I'm going like ham on this powder right now. Um, I pulled my Instagram followers today to see what video they wanted to see first because I was either going to do an aloe haul or a Lululemon scuba haul. And um, my Instagram followers picked mostly um the scuba so anyway that's what i'm gonna do my mom is calling me so yeah make sure you follow me on instagram and you can participate in this hey mom hi how are you okay so josh just made dinner hello fresh what'd you make josh uh stuffed all peppers i think it's like uh tuscan something i don't know just ground beef and, and bell peppers and then mozzarella cheese on it. And it's 8.30, so we eat dinner late in this house. Josh, Josh gets home usually like what? Usually you get home closer to 6? Yeah, I don't know if I work out or anything. But. It's probably hard to hear because the fan and the um, sink. And then I usually get home between 7.30 and 8. So usually... <clears throat> Usually we have dinner around 8, 8.30. But I have a serious question for you. For me? Yeah. What's your serious question? So on May 18th, 2008, Josh asked me to be his girlfriend. And it's mm -hmm. May 18th, 2022. <laughs> uh, how, how does that make you feel? Wow. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. 14 years. Hey man, it's been a good ride so far. <laughs> I think James would agree. James, you think so? Yeah. Well, happy. Uh, it's not really an actual anniversary, but. Was it was that the, the first time we was started that the dating. Trash can? Ask no, okay, so that, that was the, the next day. So you have to explain that story if you're going to go into that. But I, it, I'm sure it's like hard to hear because of all the background. What is this? What's on here? Yeah, that's okay. All right. So tell the story real quick, and then we need to eat dinner. I mean, there's not much of a story. We were we all went out on a on a jog together with all of our friends. We were all on the track team. Some of us better than others. And um, where were we? We went on a jog to the local. We like, got smoothies. Shop. Yeah. yeah. And it was like a Saturday morning, right? Or no, maybe, was it a Saturday? I don't know. It was, maybe it was, a, it was definitely on a weekend. Or a, a summer or something? No, it wasn't summer. I don't know. Anyway. And for anybody familiar with where we live, there's like a, a like a trail. So like just on a main street, like in the center. And we were jogging up that main street on the way back to your house you know, on the trail portion. And literally as we threw away our, our smoothies, <laughs> I said, hey, I don't even know. What did I say? So I, something to the effect of... Do you want to be my girlfriend or I'd like to be? Oh yeah, you're right. No, it was the run because we went out Friday night 
And that was when I said, let's talk in the morning on right. Saturday. Right. So Saturday was the official day that we counted it because you actually asked me, you said you wanted to ask me a question Friday right. night and I, and I had all my family at the house. I was like, let's just talk tomorrow. Yeah, that's how it all started. <laughs> I'll get back to you. That's, that's what it, that's what happened. Started, that's right. It started off with a, can you can you talk to me about it later? I have other things to do. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's right. So it was actually a Saturday, May 18th, 2008. Because you had really tried to ask me Friday, May 17th. And I said, let's discuss you're, at a later time. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're lucky I asked again. Good morning. So it's currently Thursday morning at about 6 10 so today I was going to go to um, f45 but honestly I'm my body is sore and I'm just tired so if I go to f45 I go at 5 a.m. so I have to get up at 4 15 and we also were just not getting to bed last night so I was like you know what let's just sleep in an extra hour or so get up around I got up around like 5 30 today and um, I'm just gonna go for a quick run. So I got up this morning and today's Thursday. So on Thursdays, Lululemon does their sale drops. So I um, looked at all the new sale releases. So um, I share on my Instagram, usually no later than 9 a.m., my top picks from the sale drop. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me and check out my Instagram stories on Thursday mornings because once I get back from my run, I'll grab all the links and get those posted. So I should have them up today, probably by like 7.30 or 8. Um, so I was trying to get those up pretty quickly for you so you can grab them before they sell out. So that's what's going on. So I'm going to go on a quick jog, just something to move my body, honestly. I'm just really sore and I just want to do something, but nothing too crazy. So that's what's going on this morning. Where you dive and splash all day. Waves rolling and the Alright, James, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Jamie baby, where are we? School. Hey, that wasn't nice. Are you ready for school? You don't want to reach. I don't want to reach? No. Can you say good morning? Good morning. So it is just about 6.30. Um, I'm about to head home. Actually, I'm about to head to my parents' house to pick up James, and then I'll head home. Um, I'm tired, sorry, I can't think right now. I was gonna leave a little bit earlier today, but I was just busy, so um, my sister's award ceremony is tonight, and I was going to go, but... Um, I knew I would have to stay and work. So um, I'm working from home tomorrow. Graduation is Saturday. So like I said, this week is just really weird because of all of her graduation events. Um, so anyway, I knew I would have to stay a little bit later today at work to get some stuff done in preparation for that. Um, we normally do HelloFresh. We get three meals a week. And so this week we cooked them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we don't have a meal for tonight. So I'll probably either I'll pick up dinner or Josh will get dinner. I'll probably honestly pick up James and then pick up dinner. And that's it. I have to, I've been trying to get up three videos a week. And this week because of the graduation, I've been a little behind. So I'm going to try and edit a Lululemon video tonight. I don't know if I want to stay up that late. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So that's what's going on. My car says what? Room, room. Okay, so sorry, just hit you on the windshield. It is 7:45 now. I'm home. Well, I'm at my parents. I cannot hold this in the right spot right now. Um, James, I just picked him up from my parents' house, and we're about to head home. My skin is so oily. And we're gonna pick up, Josh wanted chilies for dinner, so I'm gonna grab chilies. And I got James in the car. And he was like, I'm so cold. And I don't have a blanket in the back of my car, but I have a towel. So that's what he's using, right? 
No, I don't want to go. I thought you were so cold. James said, I'm so cold, brr. Are you so cold? Yeah, I'm missing. I'm cold and that's and I said it's cold. I and I get the car the car bus was was passing me then the car was passing and I was going into the north and I was and I was passing the car and I blast oh <laughs> there. All right, that's enough. Let's go home. Well, let's go pick up dinner, and then we'll go home, get showered. No, I don't, I don't want dinner. Okay. I want to go home. Well, we have to get dinner, sorry. Well, I don't want to go home. What do you mean? You want to sleep in the car? You just want to stay here? No, You're closer to school right now. The radio's going to turn on. Okay, let's go. I need Baby Beluga. No, we're not listening to Baby Beluga all the way home. It's like a half hour drive. I Can't baby, listen to that on I repeat. Need baby Beluga on toy. Mm. I, need baby Beluga. I think you're gonna watch Luca on your tablet. No, I don't want you yeah, I do. Good morning. Can you say morning? Come here. Let me wipe your nose. Say morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Can I have some coffee? No, you can have a waffle. Um, her. Can't have Captain Crunch right now. It's too sugary. Um, I can't do all this with one hand. So per usual, we are running a little late today. It's Friday. It's eight o'clock. I wanted to leave by 7.45, so. Um, I'm going to F45 this morning. I did have to finish um, my Lululemon video. I have one going up today, and I had to do the links and the thumbnail and stuff this morning, so I got up, well, not early, but I got up and did that. So that's what's going on this morning. I gotta get him to school, get to F45, and go from there. Okay, so we just finished at F45. I tried to get some clips. I actually haven't looked at my phone, but if I got the clips, obviously I'll add them in. It's always so hard because you're moving stations so fast that like I don't have time to set up my phone or anything. <laughs> so anyway, um, it was a really good class. I'm so sweaty. Can you see that? Like, it's so gross. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was a hard one today, but it was really good. I was actually debating doing um, CrossFit or F45 and the reason that I didn't do CrossFit today is because it was deadlifts and my low back is already really really tight and I just know if I do deadlifts you know no matter how good my form is uh, my back is still going to be tight like no matter how much I focus on form I'll still get a tight back personally so I skipped down on deadlifts and then did um, F45 instead which was good it was a really good workout and um, actually, so tomorrow's my sister's graduation. I think I'm gonna go get my nails, um, just the color changed because I shared on my story that I broke this nail. I actually broke this nail doing deadlifts last Wednesday. You can't really tell. I'm not sure if it's, there you go. You can kind of see there, do you see that? And it was like hurting for a good like two or three days. Um, but, sorry, I gotta switch. My arm gets so tired. Um, so I might go just like switch the color. Obviously like it's pretty grown out and I did cut them myself just because once I broke that one, I was like, I'm not doing this again. And just cause I'm like lifting and working out so much more, um, I can't have long nails right now. Like I love long nails, but it's just not practical. So I think I might go get that color changed real quick cause it's still early and then Go home, get some work done, and I have to pick up James today because I don't have anybody to get him. So we're gonna go get James at 3.30. So that is kind of what's going on today, the rest of the day. Hello, so I look like a little cheerleader with my cute high pony. Um, 
It's a little while later. I think the last time I talked was after the gym, right? I think that was the last time I checked in. Anyway, it's a few hours later. I did get my nails done and this is called Bubble Bubble. So it's literally just like such a neutral color um, if it ever decides to focus. So it really like doesn't even look like I have anything on. My hands are shaking. Um, but it's nice to have my nails fixed because that one was just annoying me. Sorry, it looks like I'm, I don't know, it just looks funny. Um, so got my nails fixed. Um, did some work and I'm just gonna film a quick try on so I wanted to do a try on and a sit down video but I'm not gonna have time I have to leave the house in like 20 minutes to go get James so I'm gonna do a quick try on I think I'm gonna do I was gonna either do aloe or skims so we'll see I'm probably gonna do aloe I kind of want to try aloe first and then I'll go pick up James and I just don't think I'm gonna have time to um to do the sit down today so that's okay once I get home I need to do a hair mask I want to tan like we have my sister's graduation tomorrow so I kind of just want to get all ready tonight um because it's early in the morning so that's what's going on back with I was gonna say my favorite boy one of my favorite boys how was school today love good yeah was it good yeah good are you ready for the weekend yeah yeah, it's Friday. Can we, can we go home? Yes, we're going to go get a snack. You want to go get a snack? Mm hmm Okay. Well, french fries and chicken. French fries and chicken? Yeah. Yeah, chicken. Wing. You like chicken? And french fries. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I've been meaning to open this um, Young Living starter kit that I got. And so I think what I'm going to do, um, because I wanted to film a TikTok of it, um, I have you propped up, and then I'm going to film on my phone. So I'll film, you'll see it on, well, if you wanted to see it first, you'd see it on TikTok. Otherwise, you'll obviously see it here um, in the vlog. So this is kind of, obviously I do like, on TikTok, I do, you know, like shorter clips, kind of like random fun things. I don't do dances. I can't dance um, but I do like little short clips things like that and then I do like outfits of the day and then sometimes I do hauls like this where I just sit and talk so I have a lot of like different content on TikTok than I really have like on any other platform really so I try and share my TikToks if it's something unique like a haul um, on Instagram like I share um, a link to it so people can go view it but anyway um, okay, so hopefully the lighting and everything is okay. Where is my TikTok? I, I guess I haven't gone on TikTok in a while. I haven't posted anything today. Um, and usually I try and post like two things a day on TikTok. So it's just honestly been so busy lately. And I haven't been good about posting on Instagram or TikTok the last few days. So it's just been a busy week. Um, okay, so we are set up. Camera, three minutes. And I think we're good to go. I'm gonna do a countdown timer. Okay, James is over there watching his tablet, so hopefully he doesn't um, come interrupt. Okay, let's see. Oh. Hello, so I wanted to quickly share a Young Living haul. Um, I got a new starter kit. I actually got the Aria diffuser, which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm not gonna open this right now because I'm not ready to set it up and it is glass, so I don't want anything to happen to that. But I did get the starter kit along with it. Um, it just financially made more sense to just buy the whole kit than just the diffuser itself. So this did come with the 2020-2021 product guide, which it is 2022, so I don't know. But um, I don't remember getting this last time I got a starter kit. Um, so I got that, and then it did come with this guide to essential oils. 
but this is really like what is super exciting so I've talked about this before a little bit on here I know I don't talk a ton about essential oils but we do have a diffuser in downstairs it's sitting right behind me I've got one in my room one in my son's room one at my office and my husband has one at his office so we do love them so this is what it looks like when you get the starter kit and honestly we needed a refresh of a lot of our oils um, we do use a lot of the same ones but this is just really nice so in this you get peppermint lemon thieves citrus fresh all of those are really good i love all of those we use thieves every single day to clean our house and i also diffuse it right now i actually have citrus fresh diffusing um obviously lemon and peppermint are great basic oils as well digize my husband likes to put that on his stomach when he has a stomach ache um raven i have, we really don't use this one as much Valor, that one's new to me. Um, Panaway is kind of like a icy hot type thing. Lavender, obviously great. We love diffusing that at night. And then frankincense, which is also really, really good for skincare. Um, so you could create your own little serum. And then underneath it comes with, oh, there are two more oils in here. Stress Away and Peace and Calming. I haven't had either of those in a while. And then it does come with some samples of Thieves, which I'm telling you we've used this since 2018 we love this I spray it on everything that's how I clean my house um, and it does come with I think a little thieves spray this is really cute and handy to kind of keep in your car and then it did come with the Ningxia red I've actually never tried this before so I'm kind of excited to try it I've heard really really good things so anyway like I said I know I don't talk a ton about essential oils on here but we do love essential oils in our family we do use them quite a bit and I just wanted to kind of unbox a starter kit if you were interested or if you kind of hadn't seen it before so I'm really excited to be restocked on some of our favorite oils so thanks for watching all right so that is it for my TikTok I hope you all enjoyed. I try to like speed through it, you know. Um, you've got like the, if you've never, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you've never done like a three minute TikTok, it gives you like a little countdown. Um, it's hard to show, but anyway. Let me make sure I save it and don't accidentally delete. Hello, so I wanted to okay, share so usually then I just take that and save it to my drafts. So this is kind of like what it looks like right now. It just went right there. So it's in my drafts now. So. I'll probably post this one today, honestly, because um, I haven't posted a TikTok, but yeah, I'm really excited for this RA diffuser. It is really beautiful. It's just like a pretty glass, um, like, like bulb almost. I'll show you in a future vlog once I get it set up. We actually need to get like an entry table, and my plan is to put it over there on the entry table, but I don't have it yet. So I'm going to keep, obviously you can see the diffuser that we have right here. I'm going to keep that there for now until we get an entry table and then I'll put it on there. I feel like this vlog is getting so long because I am so chatty. I sit and talk to you guys for like three whole minutes and then the vlog is like an hour and then I'm overwhelmed and don't edit it for like months. So yeah, vlogs are hard for me because I'm so chatty and then I can't like, I can't edit it because I get annoyed with my own voice and like, yeah. Anyway, all right, so that's it. I just wanted to open this up. I wanted to really break into some of these oils because we need some, we need, um, you know we need to restock i do the monthly orders so we get a lot of our favorite oils obviously every month but some of these ones i just haven't bought because we like them but we don't you know they're not like an essential to us so it's nice to just have them again because we haven't had them in a while so that's all and um josh is picking up chipotle for dinner tonight and we're gonna chill lauren's graduation is tomorrow morning i'm getting up at between 5 30 and 6 to go for a quick run come home and shower and do all the things i think i'm gonna throw a hair mask in maybe a face mask so tonight we're kind of treating it like a weeknight even though it's a friday because we have a lot to do tomorrow so i'll probably just check in with you again in the morning so anyway talk to you tomorrow all right so yes love okay not right now Good morning, it is Saturday morning. It's about nine o'clock and we are on our way to Lauren's graduation. The graduation is at 10, so hopefully we'll be there by like 9.30. Wanna say hello? Good morning. We just picked up Starbucks, so. Hi. I got my usual um, grande cold brew with two pumps of white mocha and vanilla cream cold foam. I actually found that order from Rachel Radke and really like it, so I order that all the time. And James is ready to go, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. You're so excited.
excited? That's good. All right, let's go see her graduate. Say hi, boys. Say yeah, hi, mommy. Hi, James. Hi. Literally one of the best parts about going to this school was this view. It's, of course, cloudy today, but so pretty. Never gets old. Look at that, Josh. I know. So lucky. Such a beautiful place. And there's a lot of people here. <laughs> mm -hmm. 